Hello everyone! Nagbabalik si Teacher V at ang lesson natin for today ay tungkol sa word problems involving right triangles. Week 4 to 5 na tayo at ito ay para sa mga grade 9 learners natin. Ang reference na ginamit ko dito ay ang Lead or Learners Packet from Region 4A, Calabarzon. May part 1 na yung video ko na to, ilalagay ko sa description box below. Baka hindi mo pa siya napapanood. Then, bago tayo mag-start, click mo muna yung like button sa baba. Mag-iwan ang comment kay Teacher V para lalong maging inspired si Teacher V sa paggawa ng ganitong mga video. Huwag po rin kalimutan syempre na i-share sa mga kaklase mo para sila rin naman ay matuto sa mathematics. Now, pagtapos mo na i-click yung like button dyan, pwede na tayo mag-start. So, let's begin. Ang first problem natin is Sian who's standing at a distance of 16 meters from the base of a tree. From where he is standing, he can see the top of the tree. If the tree is 16 meters high and Sian is 1 meter tall, what is the angle of elevation of the top of the tree? So, i-drawing natin yung problem or mga given para mas maintindihan natin at mas solve natin ang mas madali. So, this is the tree and ito si Sian. Yung distance niya sa tree is 16 meters at ang kanyang height is 1 meter. Ang height naman ng tree is 16 meters. Ang question is, what is the angle of elevation of the top of the tree? So, yung angle of elevation natin or angle dito na nabuo, ano kaya? Para ma-solve natin to, i-identify natin yung mga given. Meron na tayong given na 16 meters. So, ito rin yan. Yung measurement itong line na to is 16 meters din. Pagkatapos dito, bawasan lang natin ng 1 meters. Kasi nga, 1 meter yung height ni Sian. So, bawasan natin ng isa. 16 minus 1 is 15. So, 15 meters simula sa point na to up to dito sa top ng tree. So, 15 meters. Then, 16 meters dito sa side na to. Ang hinahanap is yung angle. And, ang 16 meters or yung side na to is what we call the adjacent side of our angle. O katabing side ng angle natin while yung 15 meters dito sa side na to, yung opposite naman ng ating angle. So, anong trigonometric ratio ang involved pag gumagamit tayo ng adjacent and opposite? So, tama kayo. Ang gagamitin natin is tangent. So, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Substitute lang natin. Yung opposite natin is 15. Again, kaya naging 15 na lang to. Binawasan natin ang isa dahil nga sa height itong si Yan. So, 15 na lang. And ang adjacent side or yung sukat ng line na to is 16. So, 15 divide natin sa 16. Pidutin nyo lang sa inyong calculator. Lalabas dyan 0.9375. And again, kung kukuha kayo ng angle, ang gagamitin ninyo is yung shift, then tangent, or second function, then tangent. Or sa cellphone, yung nakikita ninyong tangent raised to negative 1. Yun ang pipindutin ninyo para sa angle. So, pindutin natin sa calculator natin yung shift or check second function, then tan. And ang lalabas dyan is 43.15 degrees. Meaning to say, yung angle of elevation natin dito is 43.15 degrees or kung yung whole number siya, 43 degrees. Next problem. A bamboo pole is leaning against a tree. If the height of the tree is 14.2 meters and the angle made by the pole and the ground is 40 degrees, what is the length of the pole? So, this is our bamboo pole. Assuming lang na ito yung ating bamboo pole, then ito ang ating tree. Ang height ng tree based sa problem is 14.2 Ang angle na nabuo dito sa ground and dito sa ating bamboo pole is 40 degrees. Ang tinatanong, gaano kahaba yung ating pole? So itong bamboo pole natin, ano yung sukat niya or measurement? I-identify natin yung mga given and unknown. Given yung opposite side ng angle natin, opposite niya to or katapat na side. And ito naman, ang hinahanap is hypotenuse. So ang hinahanap is hypotenuse given yung opposite. Anong trigonometric ratio ang involve ang opposite and hypotenuse? So, ang gagamitin natin is sine. Okay, ito yung hinahanap. So, sine 40 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Ang opposite natin is 14.2 at ang hypotenuse natin, lagyan na lang natin ng x kasi nga unknown or ito yung hinahanap natin. Then, cross multiply. We have 14.2 is equal to x times sine 40 degrees. Bakit nagkaroon ng over sine 40? 
So, ginawa natin to para makancel yung sine 40 dito at maiwan lang yung x since ang kailangan natin kunin is yung measurement ng x. So, we divide or cancel na to. At para makompute natin yung measurement ng x, pindutin sa inyong calculator yung 14.2 pagkatapos i-divide sa sine 40. Pindutin yung sine sa calculator, then 40. Ang sagot is 22.09 or 22.09 meters yung haba or length ng ating pole. Ayan. So, nasolve na natin yung problem number 2. Next, number 3. According to a lighting specialist for an art gallery for best illumination of a piece of art, it is recommended that a ceiling mounted light be 1.5 meters from the piece of art and the angle of depression of the art piece be 38 degrees. How far from the wall should the light be placed so that the recommendations of the specialists are met? Give your answer to the nearest tenth of a meter. I-drawing natin para ma-visualize natin yung problem. So ito yung ating light. Ayan. At ang layo niya dapat sa art or piece of art is 1.5 meters. So ayan, 1.5 meters. Then the angle of depression of the art piece is 38 degrees. So yung angle of depression, so pababa to, Okay, so 38 degrees yung kanyang angle. Ang question, how far from the wall should the light be placed so that the recommendations of the specialist are met? Ibig sabihin, ang tinatanong, gaano dapat yung layo ng light dito sa ating art para masunod yung recommendation ng specialist? Meaning to say, itong side na to ang hinahanap. Okay? At itong side na to ang tinatawag nating adjacent side ng 38 degree angle while ito naman yung tinatawag nating hypotenuse. So adjacent yung hinahanap, then hypotenuse yung given. Adjacent and the hypotenuse, anong trigonometric ratio ang gagamitin natin? Gagamitin natin yung cosine. So cosine, 38 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Ang adjacent natin is x, then ang hypotenuse natin is 1.5. So cross multiply lang, we have 1.5 times cosine 38. Pindutin ulit sa inyong scientific calculator yung 1.5 tapos i-times nyo sa cosine 38 degrees. Ang lalabas dyan is 1.18. Pero according sa problem natin, kailangan natin ibigay yung nearest tenth of a meter. So yung round off lang natin into nearest tenth or one decimal place lang. Kaya magiging 1.2 meters. So, ang layo dapat ng light dun sa art should be 1.2 meters. Okay? Ayan. Alright. So, nakita ninyo, nagamit natin yung sukatowa para masolve natin yung mga missing parts na ating right triangle. Basta kailangan lang i-analyze nyo mabuti ang problem para hindi kayo mahirapan at hindi kayo malito kung ano yung gagawin niyo. And tandaan yung formula natin, yung mnemonic niya is SOKA TOWA. Alright? And wag ding malilito sa angle of elevation and angle of depression. So line of sight above the observer, that is angle of elevation. Then line of sight below is angle of depression. Sana may natutunan kayo kay Teacher B sa lesson natin na to. At I hope na sa susunod ulit ay makasama ko kayo sa pag-aaral ninyo ng mathematics. Follow me also on my Facebook page, Reteach Channel. And hanggang sa susunod, basta maniwala lang kayo sa sarili ninyo, magsumikap. Alam ko, matatapos nyo ang school year na to at magagawa nyo lahat ng mga learning tasks kahit wala tayong face-to-face -face kasi mas simpag at matyaga kang matuto. Tama? Okay. So, see you again sa susunod. Goodbye!